Hello, hello. Welcome in. All right, let's see if I can uh, make a comment here for you guys. Hello, welcome in. All right, so um, tonight we're going to be pulling up cards for, of course, our subscribers. But also I'm doing new moon readings for $7. So if you're interested in getting a new moon reading, those are $15 underneath my shop as well if you'd like to have one sent over to your email. But you can also get one for seven right now. If you're interested, you can pay through PayPal. And again, if you're a subscriber, you get a reading um, slash healing every time I come on as well, which is really great. So um, let me know if you're interested. One of the things that are, that's been coming up with this new moon is um, it's kind of a more important new moon, it feels like. I don't know if you guys work with the moon or not, but it's a time of manifestation. And so tomorrow night at 7.15 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, I'm going to be coming on and I'm going to do a candle ceremony. So if you want to purchase a uh, candle, you can participate in this. And uh, so it's more of like a manifestation intention setting. We be offering healing and readings. If you purchase that candle, just make sure you have your full name there. And uh, if you can't make it live, the replay is going to be underneath the YouTube channel. So you'll also be able to get the healing from it regardless. But if you want to then go and watch and participate through the replay, you can do that as well. This new moon is also in Sagittarius. My new moon readings are now underneath my membership group. And if you join my membership group at any level, you actually get a free monthly um, timeline reading. So I was doing it for December, but now that December is moving forward, um, I did a reading today for someone and it was uh, December 11th to January 11th, just because you, know, you don't want to get gypped for part of the December. So, and then I shifted it over to January readings, but realistically, I think just a monthly reading feels good. So whenever you're getting that reading, you can just get some insight. So welcome in guys. So, um, the new moon is underneath the membership group, the new moon ritual. Hello guys. Let me know if you do new moon rituals as well. We're going to pull up some cards here for everybody. New moon readings are $7. You can pay through my PayPal, horsemanreadings at gmail.com. Um, if you have a question and it has nothing to do with the new moon, that's absolutely okay. This is just kind of a fun thing I want to get into the vibe with. Our new moon is tomorrow. And so it's really important. I feel like to work with that energy at this time, if there's something new that, and um, big that you want to bring in. Um, because I was just saying that this is a more important new moon because we're coming into 2024. If you want a 2024 reading, those are also underneath horsemanreadings.com. Okay. So yeah, so new moons are really a time of focusing on the good, focusing on what you're grateful for. And also, guys, in my membership group, uh, we have the uh, weekly energy as well. So I just did the weekly, the new moon, the, new, the guided meditation, which I also threw some Reiki healing in with the meditation uh, because it feels like there's a lot of heart stuff going on right now. And then I did the new moon ritual, which was a little bit different this month as well, because we're getting into that into that goal setting. And so I offer some Theta Healing downloads with that as well. So for $11.11 Canadian, you're definitely getting a lot out of that. I just wanted to bring in more people um, that are maybe just starting out on this healing journey and they need good vibes. Um, and it's really nice as an incentive just to come in and get that, um, 
monthly reading. So basically, if you want a monthly reading, you can get it for 11 or yeah, you can get it for $11 and 11 cents plus a month, a free month in my membership, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So I would jump on that. All right, let's see what's coming through here. So, okay. So if you're a subscriber, guys, again, you get a reading and healing every single time. So that's another great way you can get some free stuff. Um, so the first card that we have coming through here is a, is a collective message. Hello, guys. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a tough one. So, yeah, one of the things that was coming up when I was doing these New Moon videos um, was, like, the Death card came up as well as the Emperor card. And so one of the things that we talk about in there is the importance of recognizing what we need to grieve right now. So my grief ceremony is underneath my YouTube channel through Playlist Rituals. That's another way you can get some Reiki healing and Theta healing for free. Um, because it feels like we're still letting go of things you know, that have happened to us. And so if you can, I'm so sorry to hear, oh, like that's, that's very recent. That's tough. Yeah. So let's all send Gail some love. That's tough. So yeah, feel free if you come in and get a reading or if you um, come in as a subscriber, we will do some healing. How about less maybe less than a reading. I mean, we can still connect to connect to the reading, but maybe more for the healing purposes. So my background's in psychology, um, but I have a lot of like spiritual certifications and, and um, you know, of course you don't need certifications for, for like really for psychic work and, and card readings and things like that. But um, my goal is to be able to learn as many tools so I can teach and also really, um, support you guys so um yeah one of the one of the things that was also coming up is the leadership card uh right now yes that is so tough it really is um and hopefully you have some type of spiritual belief as well um which right now it probably doesn't really matter to you but like if you do believe in in god or or higher power of some sort um, this can really, really, really help. Hello, guys. Welcome in. So we're doing new moon readings uh, for $7. You can pay underneath PayPal. And if you're a subscriber, you get a free reading and healing every time. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing a new moon uh, ceremony with uh, candles. So if you want to purchase a candle, those are $7. And you just need to put when you purchase that through my shop, horsemanreadings.com. You can see it in my link tree. Um, when you purchase that it's um, important you put your manifestation and your intention with your name. So if you're buying it for somebody else, just make sure that they're you're saying their name. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do that for the first time. It's fun to do a little um, ceremony through TikTok. So I'm really looking forward to switching that up. If that's something that people are really enjoying, I can make that a monthly thing, and that's also a really nice add-on for people that are already doing their own work. So yes. Um, so the, the reason why that emperor card I feel like was coming up for people right now is it's stepping into your power just a little bit more. So recognizing that with new moons, it's very much a time of recognizing that, you know, maybe you have your own gifts, maybe you have your own talents. So this is Sagittarius energy. So it's very much about purpose. And so I feel like we're working on getting out of a little bit of the culture of like materialism and things like that for some reason that's coming through because we're coming into Christmas as well and so this is a time where people feel like they need to buy stuff and buy people things and uh, one of the things that I've been feeling like for me I'm interested in receiving uh, through Christmas is more experiences and so um, my husband um, like we were, we're just trying to keep it really like simple uh, but he paid for me to go to like this beautiful Airbnb this weekend with my sister for her to come and visit me. And like, there was a nice hot tub there. Um, my PayPal got scammed. Okay. Well, you can, uh, if you want to, you can purchase this new moon reading right now through my, um, 
through my website. So if you go to horsemanreadings.com, you'll see purchase a reading and you'll see the candle, purchase a candle, right? Just purchase a candle through my store, okay? Um, and then do it, and then do it that way if you like, if you like, because then it'll say you can pay through PayPal or you can just pay the other way. Just say not through PayPal, and then that runs you through my site. And so it is important, guys, that we make sure when we're purchasing things too that we're on people's like legit stuff, right? That's why I do think that. Yeah, I now I do everything through through my website, but uh, yeah, feel free to. I mean. If you're clicking the link through my link tree, which is you'll see my Horseman Readings profile, and then you go to click on my picture, you'll see the link tree. When you click on that, the first thing that you'll see is like pay, like pay PayPal. Um, but yeah, then you'll also see my website, and yeah, anything you want to purchase, for the most part, you can get get all through my link tree. Okay, so no worries. Um, and I'm sorry that you also got scammed. So, we also have currently, as a collective reading here, so yeah, when I see that, hi Bianca, I'm going to write your name down here, thank you so much for joining, thanks for being a subscriber, um, yeah, when I see that um, pop up for the purchase, or um, just let me know if, if you paid for that as well, because um, again, if you're not paying through PayPal, however you choose, just put paid in the comments and then we'll go into okay um so bianca do you have a question or anything i'm doing new moon readings for seven dollars um but as a subscriber you can choose whatever whatever you want however you want to want to navigate this you're more than welcome to um but as a collective energy here we have nine of swords and so nine of swords whenever we see this card popping up it's really talking about fear, anxiety, things like that, that we're worrying about stuff. As I was just talking about, um, yeah, like just money and stuff like that. And just like all kinds of different things. It feels like this new moon has a touch of a full moon to it. Like you might be finding you're a little triggered, irritated. This is also Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. So depending on what sign you are, it's going to it's going to affect you differently. I have fire in my sign already, so sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's a, it's a bad thing in the sense that if my fire is not balanced with like water, meaning like taking those nice healing baths, um getting that relaxation like I was just saying um as a little like Christmas gift my husband um you know paid for this beautiful weekend took us out for like this amazing meal went to the spa and all that stuff and really healed through the water but for myself being a fire energy I feel like if I didn't get that water element and all of that healing I would probably be like more irritated by the Sagittarius new moon in the sense of like it's really waking us up to you know what it is that we're supposed to be doing it's like hello do the thing, do the thing. So you might find that there are lots of signs coming through right now, letting you know to do the thing. Okay, so Bianca, you were here first as a subscriber. Would you like a reading, first of all? It's totally okay if you don't. And Tink, welcome in. So same thing, if you want a reading, let me know. We're doing new moon readings for $7. You can pay through my PayPal or you can pay through my website and purchase a candle. And then let me know that you paid here, okay? Also, if you, hello, if you want to buy a candle for our new moon uh, ceremony that we're doing tomorrow night at 7.15 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, purchase the candle, then I will have your name on the candle and along with your manifestation and your intention. And then we're going to be doing some readings and healings and bring in this beautiful new moon together as a group. And the replay is going to be underneath YouTube. Okay. Hello. So do you have a question? Did you get your package yet by chance? It didn't have a time on it. It's tomorrow the new moon already. Yes, it is. And it's so funny. Um, I just did the new moon like ritual with the Theta Healing Dilemma the new moon reading and the weekly reading all underneath my beginner level membership group plus our guided meditation for today. And that was the first thing I said is like, oh my God, I feel like I haven't been on here to do a new moon um, ritual in a long time. Well, it's obviously it's been a month, but it 
just felt like a long time for me. But then it was interesting because what I was manifesting with the last new moon, it actually came in, which was really cool. So that was actually ended up being this beautiful weekend that I had, but I didn't even kind of connect the dots until it happened. I, when I went back to look at the last one, I'm like, oh, cool. So actually after this, I'm going to, um, okay, perfect. Um, after this, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get my new moon, um, whatever you call it, my ritual book. Jody. okay, thank you. So you said reading, which I am very grateful for. So Jody, feel free to hop on in here, okay? I'm going to write you down for your new moon reading. I'm going to get my um, my new moon ritual book because I've been writing on like loose leaf and things like that. And I'm really always encouraging people to make sure that they have that sacred book. And then I don't, I don't even have that right now. So it is nice to have that organized so you really can reflect back to like last year or whatever it is because we were really only writing like half a page or something like that. So it's cool to have it all in one place and have that in a sacred space for yourself. So just throwing that out there. And I was also sharing that if you want to get into my membership group, I'm doing a, a free month timeline reading for you as well. So it's $11.11 Canadian to come in to the beginner level membership. I literally just did like five videos on there. So I've got like an hour worth of like basically readings and healings in there that I just did today. So that you can't go wrong with that. Plus then you get that, that timeline reading so I go into your Akashic records and I tune in and do week to week um, so that can be very helpful it'll kind of give you a better idea of which direction to go and especially with your 2024 so you're basically getting a free reading so Jody are you there Jody 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 Jody. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So Jody, do you mind just putting a little, uh, and then Tink, I'm going to get to you next. Okay. But Jody's paying here and she's never been in here. So, um, so do you mind just putting a little heart beside your name when you're, when you're talking just so we can make sure that you're highlighted and we're going to do a new moon reading, but did you have any, was there any like thing else that you want it to thank you that you want it to focus on just let me know so guys you can pay seven dollars through paypal or through horsemanreadings.com purchase a candle and write reading there okay so i'm gonna start this for you okay so let's go into your energy Jack and Blake. Uh, will they, so will your babies, Jack and Blake, live full time with you in Smithers one day? Well, where we're working on new moons right now, the energy is coming up no and so one of the things that we can work on is i'm getting like self-esteem and, and confidence for some reason okay um like that's something for you to work on but also i want to look into future here and see what i see when i when i focus on these people coming into your life because that's what you're looking to manifest and attract, right? Yes. So trust is also another thing that's coming up for you. Okay. So one of the things I would be bringing in with the new moon is self-esteem, confidence, and trust. That's what they're giving me. And I kind of feel like there's some stuff from the past that you feel like you were 
like there's deceit there, like a lack of trust. Like, I don't know if you feel like you got screwed over from a situation. So guys, this is just a paid reading, okay? You can subscribe if you want next to be next. Or you can uh, pay $7 either through horsemanreadings.com. You can buy a candle or you can pay through PayPal. Um, okay? So yeah, so those are the things that are kind of coming up as priorities, okay? So you want to... With the new moon, ask the universe to, um, I'm hearing, heal, heal you gracefully, please. Okay, so you want to, with the new moon, ask the universe to, um, I'm hearing, heal, heal you gracefully, okay? And so I think what you need is a lot of TLC right now. Right? Because this is a heavy heart situation that you're experiencing, right? Especially even just for me to be like, no. So it feels like there's a reason why that is. And I feel like you know what the reason is. But this is where it's really, really, really important that you're building this trust back up in this faith again. Because it feels like if you don't build that trust and faith back up in humanity and yeah, in humankind, it'll almost make you feel like a lack, like you're lacking or like it's hard for you to be grateful. And when you're not feeling grateful and when you're feeling in a lack, then things just stay where they are, if this makes sense. So guys, if you're in lack, then things just stay where they are, if this makes sense. So guys, readings are $7. You can pay through PayPal or horsemanreadings.com, okay? By purchasing it, we'll say a candle and then just write reading, okay? You can also subscribe. $7. You can pay through PayPal or horsemanreadings.com, okay? By purchasing it, we'll say a candle and then just write reading, okay? You can also subscribe. So is this resonating? So trust, self-esteem, confidence. Um, you do have... I couldn't hear anything. So how come you can't hear anything? Is that happening to everybody else? Can you hear me now? The screen froze. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to not sit here. I, I'm working on building a, a bit of a better office. I'm here in a basement right now. So I'm just getting some, um, some quiet space. So regardless, okay, you're here. So that's good. So, okay. So one of the things that came through for you, okay, I'll repeat it again. Trust is really, really important for you. Mine was on a loop. Okay. So regardless, you can hear me now. So um, the most important thing that's coming through here. So um, I'm going to put the replay underneath my YouTube channel. So Jody, um, what will happen is if something skips, it you'll still be able to like hear. It's like it'll act weird and then you'll still be able to hear the reading. Okay, so just go watch my YouTube video after I download this one. Okay, and then you'll get that replay. So, trust, 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 trust. That's the most important thing for you, okay? Because you've had this, like, negativity in your life. It's caused you to, if if you continue to feel like you can't trust in humankind and not trust people because of your past, what's going to happen is you'll have a lack mindset and things won't shift and so you can't, like, manifest these this desire that you want for yourself that you were already sharing with me because right now the energy was saying no but it doesn't mean that that can't change because you have to believe that it's going to you have to trust that that's going to happen so a big thing would be working on developing more skills for healing for sure because you've had such such like term I feel like traumatic things happen to you so that's why I was suggesting to work on self-esteem and confidence and trust. Those three things are the most important things that are coming through here. Um, but yes, you were de you were deceived by someone specifically, and I feel like they you felt taken for granted, or 
you know, regardless, something, somebody did something to you, okay? So with this new moon, what you're manifesting is is that those healing tools working on self-esteem, confidence, and trust, okay? Can you hear me okay? And does this making sense? Yes, I have been through a traumatic experience, yes. So, um, if you want to, you can also, after we finish this reading, purchase, actually purchase a candle, like go do exactly what you just did, and then tomorrow night, if you want to, you can also, after we finish this reading, purchase, actually purchase a candle, like go do exactly what you just did. And then tomorrow night when we come on and do the ceremony, um, I will kind of put that energy out for you with the candle and any other messages that come through in relation to that and offer you the healing. That I will kind of put that energy out for for you with the candle and any other messages that come through in relation to that and offer you the healing that we'll also be doing in the ceremony. Um, but keep developing these these tools and skills, okay? How do we get added to this list? So I'm doing new moon readings for $7. Um, and then also I'm going to be... I Keep developing these these tools and skills, okay? How do we get added to this list? So I'm doing new moon readings for seven dollars, um, and then also I'm going to be going to subscribers, and I'll be doing a quick mini reading for you guys as well, okay? So you've got Ace of Wands here, Jody, and so it's like this purple violet flame, and so definitely it feels like mentorship of some sort would be good to help you kind of drop into your heart and bring that joy and love like back in um because it feels like I feel sad for you honestly because it feels like this is like a a really hard time and yeah it's kind of like you do have to do something about it okay so page of cups really talks about this joy that you once had that you lost touch with. So again, with your new moon, uh, you're bringing joy back back in, okay? Um, and the inner child's been coming up for a lot of people as well right now. So like, think about that inner child for you as well, because if you've had probably had some childhood trauma as well and so how can you you know listen to that little you within yourself and what is she craving and what is she wanting and listening to her and honoring that too okay so if you don't know what the inner child is maybe looking looking that up as well um how to heal your inner child and how to bring your inner child out a little bit more but yeah those are all the things okay so again if you missed part of this, my apologies. I repeated it all anyway, but I'm going to put the replay underneath the YouTube channel. And so I like to do that because I feel like it's important that, I don't know, there are often like messages in this for, for others too, whether they realize, realize it or not. Okay. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, if you purchase that candle tomorrow night, we will offer you some healing and uh, we can keep kind of bring in the good vibes in okay I also have other other options underneath my shop there for you as well and of course one-on-ones and my membership group I was just sharing um yeah that could all be all be good for you any questions about that guys feel free to reach out you're welcome okay so um we're gonna go to tank next because she was the next person here Bianca was here but she floated away so if you guys want a new moon reading, those are $7 you can pay through PayPal or horsemanreadings.com. You can uh, purchase a candle and then just write reading and then um, and then I'll get that as well. Okay. Hello. Hello. So could I be added? Yes. So Tink and Meek and I feel like there was somebody else in here, but I was like concentrating on that reading. So I'll go back. It must be so annoying when that happens. My apologies, guys. Okay. So, Tink, if you don't have a question, okay, I'm going to pull you up two cards. So, Four of Cups here talks about uh, someone who 
it feels like there's some tired energy here, all right? And then we have Nine of Swords, and so this is kind of like worry vibe, okay? So this is the one not sleeping, right, who's got the anxiety and a little stressed. And then um, the Four of Cups is talking about this need to, like, I feel like just express and talk and spend good quality time with other people. I'm kind of getting that... Um, Sometimes we'll isolate when we're feeling like, well, we're just seeing that talking with Jody about not trusting, you know, how that can, can just keep you in that lower vibration. Um, so that that's kind of what I'm feeling like. It's like, it's okay to like, use your resources. And also I'm feeling like working with your ancestors. So again, if you hop into the membership group at, uh, pro level um you learn about the akashic records and that's where i do more ancestral healing in there plus you get a free month timeline reading um but regardless however you know how to work with your ancestral lineage and and going back to kind of navigate you know it kind of feels like related to the new moon in the sense of this new moon's all about purpose. So it's like if we can understand our life path a little bit better, like what, why we are the way that we are, it could be really, really helpful. Okay. So when I did my um, Akashic Records training and I went back to connect with my ancestors because that was my first time. Hello, guys. Welcome in. Uh, I ended up connecting to, for some reason, a connection to medication and that the reason why I am um, almost like had been in the past almost uh, anti um, medication was related to my ancestral lineage in relation to like um, I feel like herbal like herbal medicine, uh, which is interesting because now when I when I went into the Akashic Records and did that training, that's actually where I got all the all these downloads to make these healing products and make these like herbal tinctures and charge them and with crystals and all of this all these beautiful healing tools so one positive thing is I found out oh this was like some this is something I just know because from my ancestors but then the other side from it the message that I got from them is like yes but you don't have to be like anti-medication like medication is good so this is your gift but also don't be afraid of the other side of it. And so that was actually really powerful for me to be able to go to to connect to them. So maybe I'll add that in for, uh, yeah, anyone that wants an ancestral healing or reading, we can go into your records and, and see what your ancestors want to know as well. We'll throw that in there because that's a really good one for, for people. Okay, so our next person here is Meek. So, yes, I will answer health questions. No problem about that. Um, it's just if somebody is coming in and being, like, very specific. Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? You know, we don't... Yeah, that's just, like, a question that maybe that's not what we want to work on here in this space because I do private readings and you have that opportunity. But for sure, if it's related to, like, your health, where I work on, like, health products and that's pretty much a huge part of my business, I just think the way that we talk on here is super important that we're not getting to, um, I don't know, like, we, we're ta we've we got to take the politics out of it, if that makes sense, Okay. Yeah, we can totally talk about a miscarriage because I, I read energy. So, you know, that's a huge loss and things like that. For sure, we can do that. So, yeah, so you can pay $7 or you can come in as, as a subscriber, okay? So your first time as a subscriber, we go more in-depth just to make sure you guarantee get that one reading. Um, and then you get a reading and healing every single time you come in. So you have to pay in order to ask your question, guys. So PayPal, horsemanreadings at gmail.com. You'll see it in my profile link tree. Boom, it'll come up. Or you can go to horsemanreadings.com, purchase a candle, and say that you're getting a reading. Tomorrow night, we're also doing a candle ceremony for the new moon. So you can buy a candle and put in your manifestations and intentions around that. So if somebody's talking about a miscarriage, you know, and there's something you want to attract with the new moon, maybe get the candle, okay? Or get a personal reading if you don't want to pay and be on here. So Meek, are you here? Let me know. Okay. Meek, Meek, Meek. 
So we have six of wands, all right? I'm feeling some heaviness here. Are you in here, Meek? Yes, okay. Let me know what your question is, if there's any area. So for you, I have this balance card. Six is always the number of like cooperation. Um, I feel like you are being supported right now with starting some type of new project uh, with your new moon. Um, it feels like I'm just getting permission, like there's a go ahead. I feel like you know kind of like what you want to bring in. Maybe you're worried about it or concerned, but there's permission for you to, to do that, okay? Um, I also am feeling like there's a celebratory side to you right now as well. Um, I feel like you're feeling the good vibes, which is what you want to be in during a new moon. Sometimes we have to make ourselves get into that. I actually feel like you're in that, which is amazing. I would love to know if Nathan will reach out. Okay. Uh, you've got Page of Wands. This is the potential card, okay? This is, again, working with that fire energy, working with the new moon energy so that instead of, like, questioning or worrying, we're believing, we're trusting, we're having faith, that sort of thing. Um, I feel like there's, like, some negative, I don't know. I don't know why, but it feels like there's some negative energy around this situation for some reason. But this is like when you have good ideas. So I, I would say that Nathan, um, do you feel like he's pulled back from you? Like, I don't know who Nathan is to you right now because I'm not really doing a real reading. I'm not going into like your records and, and doing that in depth energy. But do you um, feel that Nathan has pulled back? Is that why you're concerned? Just let me know if you don't mind. We're in separation, yes. Okay. Yeah, because as you guys know, my memory for everybody's readings is challenging. When, like I said, I just did like downloaded like five videos for my beginner levels today. Um, so it's a lot for my brain. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm getting that just to leave this, like to more leave this energy and work with the new moon because I feel like you're in a good place like your vibe is is good and so yeah I would say that if there's like a I feel like there's like a letting go process here for you and how to learning how to navigate the next chapter because I think that's part of the new beginning is like moving on to the next thing there's permission there okay um so the answer is no I don't feel that way okay but I also want to make sure I'm not just like no, you were seeing that with Jody's reading. I want to make sure like that it feels so harsh. Um, I want to make sure that you feel like you understand the reason behind it. Okay. And that's why I do readings is to help people move forward, not to just give them an answer. Because it's not hard to get an, get an answer. But when we're getting maybe the answer that we don't want, we need to learn how to handle that and how to cope with that and how to move forward with that. Makes sense? That's where the healing comes in. You're welcome. So is there anybody else here that wants to subscribe that is subscribed or that wants to purchase an ancestral healing reading for $7 or a new moon reading? That's all through horseman readings at gmail.com, through PayPal, or through my website. You can purchase a candle and we'll call that a reading, okay? So we'll read some collective energy here for the people that are here. Um, we've got the moon card. Okay. Feeling some sadness coming through for a couple people. It's completely normal this time of year if you are feeling sad. It is a sad time. You know, people spend money often that they don't have the money to spend because they feel obligated to do that. We've got people that um, are sick. We've got people that are without family. We have people without homes, etc. So it it kind of has a little touch of sadness to it because we do have this big separation for some reason. I feel that it's coming through here where it's like some people are just like they don't have anything to worry about. And then we have other people that are in a mess. And so it's just maybe recognizing if you are in a fortunate place right now to provide and to support and to 
if it's just gathering knowledge to help people with your wisdom in any so sort of way, that's a way to put forward as well. So don't forget that it doesn't have to just be about a money money exchanges, if that makes sense. Because we've got Eight of Swords here, someone who feels like they're really stuck or really trapped, and it feels very mental. It feels like there's lots of ways to move through this energy, but you're not looking at it that way, so it's your perspective on things. And so I get it. You're probably, you have your reality, you have your logical mind, it makes sense. If it's like, I don't have the money, I don't have the money. Okay, so manifest abundance. Um, bring the positive energy in. Look in a positive way. Right now in a new moon, um, this is really a time to get on board with what it is that you want to attract and really pay attention to those thoughts and the thinking because the thinking patterns is actually what's creating the negative energy and the negative cycles in your life, not the fact that you don't have money or you don't have whatever it is, okay? So for some reason, somebody needs to hear that, that it's like your attitude needs to be in a state of gratitude in order to change your situation. Make sense? If you're able to do that, you will succeed right now. The chariot's also a card. Hey guys, so we're doing readings for $7, horsemanreadings at gmail.com. You can pay through my link tree. Um, or you can subscribe and we'll do a quick reading here for you. Um, the chariot really talks about this need to forgive and let go. My guided meditation today that I did in my membership um, also has um, Reiki healing in it. And so we did some still some forgiveness work because it feels like there's a lot of stuff going on with people where relationships seem to be going in, in, in different directions. And so be mindful of that. We're cautious of that if you're not linking up with the right people at this time. And so if you're finding that that people are pulling away from you trust that that's happening for a reason instead of being like worried about it just be like oh okay maybe our paths aren't aligning anymore and I know that's easier said than done when we're emotionally attached to people or when we have codependency no problem Imar. I know that's not your name is it I'll just write your name down thank you um yeah okay so ace of swords I get distracted easily. This says to we're just we're just talking about the forgiveness work and and trust a lot. So it's also trusting that forgiveness work won't just be related to your intimate relationships. It's all areas of your life. Um, so my next healing tool I'm going to be doing for our VIPs is more. I'm teaching them how to do future readings and also. Um, a forgiveness letter how to how to like work on forgiving yourself because a lot of times people are hanging on to that uh, negative energy and um, yeah it's not serving them so All right you know I'm, I'm gonna wait for your payment anybody else that wants a reading there's seven dollars person readings at gmail.com even if you are a subscriber and you want to go deeper into that human energy or the ancestral energy, come on in. I also sell products as well. So if you're looking for a gift for anyone, let me know. I sell smudge sprays, abundant sprays, cleansing sprays, um, herbal tinctures, which you can also find underneath my shop, um, teas, a lot of crystals, crystal necklaces. I have crystal earrings. Uh, I've got a lot of like incense and incense burners and I've kind of went a little overboard when I started my store and then just got really slow at, at creating my shop. So Iman, we're gonna wait for you to come and make your payment. So I'm gonna be opening up for January readings here. That'll be probably the last thing I do tonight. So if that's something you want, um, that would be another good thing. I have new moon readings available that you can pay through at least seven dollars. When I go to write that in the comments, it's not pinning. My TikTok does really weird things, as you guys know. So the Six of Pentacles is popping up here as well. And so usually this says any money that's owed to you will be provided. 
it'll be it'll come to you so that's also nice if you feel like there's money that's supposed to be coming your way and it also tells you because of that there's an energy where it's safe for you to give as well I know I've really um I'm already finished my shopping I have like one more person I need to to get something for but I, I thought you know what oh my goodness I like went overboard like crazy so I'm thinking really do I really need to get that last person their gift <laughs> oh my okay Zahara perfect okay so I'm doing thank you do you have a question because I'm doing new moon readings but I'm also doing ancestral healing and a Sorry, right. I'm going to plug my phone in here. Um, we're going to go into your Akashic Records and we're going to see what comes through. But again, if there's an area of focus, it, it is helpful. What does spirit want me to do, i.e. stay in Gold Coast or Sydney? I'm a bit lost. That's so cool. Yes. No worries. Strange things are happening with your energy right now. I'm getting a lot of tapping on my head. Just plugging you in here. What does that mean? <laughs> it just means that um, I'm super sick. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it means that you need some Reiki healing. So I'm going to also just mention to you, okay? I have a membership group. It's $11.11. And, uh, 11 and you got a free month monthly timeline that I emailed to you. So that's like your next four weeks. So I go into your Kashuk records just like I'm doing right now. But I also have um, a little exercise that I just did today. It's a guided meditation with some Reiki healing around the heart. Um, and so I'm going to call Reiki energy in right now. Okay. Yeah, it would be really good for you uh, just because it's not expensive at all. And you get a lot of healing and, and support, especially with like today I, I posted the weekly, um, the new moon reading, the new moon ritual with Theta Healing Downloads, also talking about how to kind of like bring in your 2024 energy. Um, yeah, and some, some exercises in there. And um, I just feel like, I don't know why that's important. Maybe it's just like there are a couple little things in there that I think would be helpful for you. Uh, but that's when I get tapping, it's more about getting that healing. So we were saying you have been, you're sick. Um, so this is definitely why it's coming through. So I just want to kind of give you that, give you that support here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And feel free if you feel called to any of the, like the pro or the VIP, there's even more in there, but just as a bare minimum, Sometimes it's just being in that energy where it feels like you're you're feeling a bit run down, okay? And any shot of healing I feel like we can get, we do it. Okay, so as we tune in, so now I feel like the energy is already like softer and gentle and more calm. Because when we are a little sick, it can definitely make us feel like even a little insecure, you know? Where it's like we're not feeling ourselves as much. Um... So I'm getting Sydney for you, okay? That has a stronger vibration. Um, do you like Sydney? Is there like a reason why you wouldn't like, I don't know. Is there something you're worried about when it, when it comes to that? See, like, why are you? It's just very city, city. Yes. Okay, I'm glad that you're saying that because 
I'm like, ooh, that it seems like there's like, so maybe it's like overwhelming for you or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just think sometimes, um, even though it might not feel as healing, sometimes we can get more healing in, in that place. So I could kind of feel like this, like, even though you're asking that, like, there's something about it that made you want, not maybe less want to go there, which is interesting. So you also have the moon card here, okay? Um, in the moon, it's funny because we were just talking so much about that and it keeps talking popping up. Um, it, I'm getting for you to see yourself in a positive light. That's what I was saying about the in, the insecurity there. Um, I think sometimes, again, when we're feeling run down, we just don't feel as good about ourselves. Um, so that's something right now I would just trust that, that like over time, as you get a little bit more healing, um, you're going to find that your energy is going to start to go up and your confidence is going to be better and you're going to start to shine a lot brighter, okay? And so maybe, just maybe, when you're in a city, um, and I feel like, you know, it, the Gold Coast isn't bad either, you know? Like, it's, if you want to look at it that way, like, there's still option here. It's not one way or the highway. It's just sending us more energetically aligned, but it's not, like, crystal clear either. Um, because like it, it's, I'm hearing it's not bad in the other direction either. Okay. You're just asking one or the other, and that's the one that's coming through the strongest. So I think that, yeah, when your energy is like in a really great place, you'll vibe there more, but there's healing coming in where that vibe's going to get better for you. Okay. So five of swords. Also, this talks about someone who, when you're feeling a little low, a little insecure, then we almost get into that little, like, feeling a little, like, things get a little petty kind of thing. Um, but when you're also feeling really, really high, we don't want to ever make anybody feel, like, less than, but we still deserve to shine. And so it's more about being humble. So it's as you keep working on this version of you, I'm hearing to definitely, um, like, letting go of old trauma and letting go of things from the past. That's more what I'm talking about. As you do that, you're just going to feel more worthy of the things that you truly deserve. And so I, I think that the Sydney energy is giving you a little bit of like maybe some anxiety because it, it could lead to more like joy, happiness, success. I am pretty. Haha. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. But you want to be humble. <laughs> but I like that you used uh, belonging and connection. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah, so it's more just, yeah, like that, that, that's more where the connection that is leading you to. Okay. So page of cups is also talking about just new beginnings, new starts. Um, you also have to be happy and excited about the things that you're doing, right? So when we're manifesting, especially with this new moon, we want to feel like we're so thrilled about this coming in, even though it hasn't happened yet. So if you're, if you're, again, your vibe or your energy is not aligned with where you're going, like, even if you're feeling a little anxiety, you've got to let go of that fear. Yeah, so it's before something really big happens. So I don't know, whatever those fears are, definitely something to, to work on clearing, clearing and healing, okay? Also, if you buy a candle for tomorrow night ceremony, I'm doing a manifest manifestation and intention um, ceremony there, uh, here at 7.15, okay? So you buy your candle and write down your manifestation and intention, and then I do the healing and support you that way too. I just want to meet soul family, that's all I care about, ha ha ha. And that's, again, alignment, right? That's what, why they're wanting you to go there. And the fool um, talks about, again, not knowing where you're going, but it doesn't matter because you're like, I, I know where my heart is going to take me. And it's really trusting yourself. And again, confidence is just coming, coming through. It's also being confident in the decisions that you're making. And I'm getting, I'm hearing what you're manifesting is trustworthy people. Okay. So when you look into your new moon energy, and you're thinking about soul, family, I'm hearing trustworthy people, okay, just to get more definition on that, that's what I would, 
I would suggest for you, okay? And then what happens is when we're manifesting trustworthy people, guess what's going to happen? Yes, we're going to meet trustworthy people, but we're also going to be like letting go of times in our life when we weren't trustworthy or letting go of people who currently aren't trustworthy in our life, okay? So that's more, again, where the healing is, is coming through for you, okay? So yeah, I think you could even just the monthly timeline reading when you get into the membership group. Actually, the timeline reading is going to be a great great for you to help you I think just kind of see and navigate a little bit differently because again it's just how we're looking at things our perspective and uh, it's getting your energy on board uh, but it's not that your energy is not high just to let you know you have great energy but it's just you know what I'm saying when, when you're not feeling a, a hundred or when you're questioning or have those little fears okay so thank you so much for asking your question. So guys, readings are $7. You can pay through my PayPal. You'll see that in my link tree underneath my profile. You can also, um, awesome, awesome. You can also buy a candle underneath horsemanreadings.com. You'll see um, purchase readings and under my shop there. And once you purchase your candle, I'll write your name down, your manifestation, your intention. And then tomorrow night at 7.15, I'll be coming on and offering some healings, reading support. I don't know what's going to happen, but I think it's going to be awesome. And if it goes well, then we're going to do this on a monthly basis. I think a lot of people can benefit from more of that group healing. And uh, the YouTube, my YouTube channel also has uh, the replay there. And again, you're going to see the replay from tonight too. So if you just got a reading and you need to kind of like digest that a bit more or it started to freeze on you, that's where you can find it. It does take a little while to download just to let you know. And the replay from earlier today, also talking about more about the new moon and other people's readings, etc. There's always general messages in those. That's also just now posted through there as well. So I appreciate all the people that subscribe. Um, it's very helpful for me as well. So yeah, these are paid readings. My apologies that I don't have that labeled a bit better. It makes sense why you would be asking your question. If you subscribe, also you get a free reading and healing every single time you come on. I'm getting that tapping on my head as well. So there, there are definitely some people that could benefit from some healing. The other thing I have, guys, if you're interested in receiving like Reiki the way that we just, kind of like just the way we did it, only um, so I talk while I do the clearing. I talk about the energy that I'm feeling and ways to move forward with that. So it's not like a silent healing. It's a Reiki reading. You can purchase those through my shop as well. And so that's a video that gets sent over to your email as well. And that could be really, really helpful for people that are whose energies aren't kind of like where they need to be right now. Okay. It's very supportive. What's nice is you have access to that until um, I try to do for like 30 days, but often I'll leave it there until I until I feel like getting rid of it okay so you'll have access to that too okay guys i'm gonna take off it's been a really long day um if you purchase a, a membership again you get a uh, month timeline reading sent over to your email as well so that could be really beneficial uh, that's in writing as well so it's just a really it's kind of like getting a free reading at this point and um and being a part of the membership so take care and we'll see you next time Bye bye